The famously spotted breed, the Dalmatian, is an extremely popular breed globally due to their incredibly playful and loving personalities. Their highly athletic build and high energy makes them a great active companion. In today's video, we'll be comparing this popular breed with the Golden Retriever, a very popular breed for families across the world due to their playful, loving and gentle nature. Welcome back to the Fenriot Dalmatian Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Dalmatian. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect Dalmatians. So if you're a lifelong Dalmatian lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Dalmatian video. So let's dive right into today's video and look at these two breeds, their similarities and their differences. Firstly, let's take a look at the breed's histories. There's a lot of mystery regarding where this incredible breed, the Dalmatian, first originated from. Some people believe they travelled with Romani people who historically are nomadic. However, other people think the Dalmatian breed was named after a region in Croatia called Dalmatia. There is so much mystery surrounding this breed's history, especially as spotted dogs have been found painted on the walls of Egyptian tombs depicted running alongside chariots, so it's assumed they've been around for a very long time. Dalmatians have been bred and trained to run alongside carriages in order to protect the horses from stray dogs and to keep the horses calm. As coach dogs, they would also act as a guard dog through providing security whenever the coach is stopped and would alert the driver of any incoming dangers. Since the year of 1950, this impressive breed has served as a mascot and a companion to the Budweiser Clydesdale horses. The Dalmatians would act as guard dogs to the wagon and also to the team of horses when the driver went inside to make deliveries, but these days the dogs can be found sat on the wagon next to the driver. As well as serving as coach dogs, Dalmatians were used in many other fields including hunting, fire service, circuses, herding, ratting, due to their intelligence and athletic abilities. All these jobs involved running for miles, which explains their remarkable amount of energy. The Golden Retriever was developed in the Scottish Highlands on the estate of Lord Tweedmouth. He bred many animals trying to perfect different breeds, but his records show that what he was aiming for was a talented retriever with a remarkable sense of smell, attentive to their human hunting companion and loyal and even tempered in the home. The descendants of the Golden Retriever include that of Spaniels, Setters, Wavy and Flat Coated Retrievers. Tweedmouth kept the mostly yellow puppies to continue breeding and gave the rest to friends and relatives. The breed was admired for their skills in the hunting field and their calm and comforting nature in the home. Golden Retriever males stand at 23 to 24 inches at the shoulder and weigh around 65 to 75 pounds and female Goldens are usually 21 and a half to 22 and a half inches tall weighing 55 to 65 pounds. Golden Retrievers have a different coat to the Dalmatian. They have a dense and water repellent outer coat with a thick undercoat. They have long wavy or straight hair with fur feathering on the back of their front legs and underbody with very heavy feathering on their chest, back of their thighs and their tail. They can be all shades of gold from very light to very dark. Male and female Dalmatians measure from 19 to 24 inches tall weighing between 48 to 55 pounds. Males tend to be larger than females. Dalmatian puppies are born with completely white fur and their spots develop as they grow older. Usually the pup's signature spots begin to show at around two to three weeks old and generally once they reach four weeks, most of their spots will be present. However, this isn't the end of the spot development as they continue to slowly develop as the dog grows throughout the rest of their life. Just like our fingerprints or the diversity of snowflakes, Dalmatian spots are one of a kind to each pup. The most common colour for the spots to be is either black or liver coloured on a white coat, but there are different variations including pups with brindle, blue, orange or lemon spots. Dalmatian's coats are dirt repellent so even if your pup decides to roll in the biggest, muddiest puddle, you can be sure that they will still dry to a brilliant shine. As with all dog breeds, it is important to be aware of any certain health conditions that the breed you're interested in can be more prone to. Like many pedigree dogs, Dalmatians are more prone to some illnesses than others. They have an unusual urinary system that is genetically prone to forming urinary stones, which can become life-threatening, particularly in males. This means that male Dalmatians especially need to be closely monitored in their diet and urination habits. Goldens can be prone to a range of health problems, including hip and elbow dysplasia, cataracts and other eye problems. 
problems, heart conditions, allergies, bone problems, blood disorders, bloat, epilepsy, glandular issues and cancer. Golden Retrievers are extremely sweet and calm in nature with a gentle demeanour towards everyone. They were bred to work with people and are always eager to please their owners, which can make training a golden easy in most cases, but obviously with consistency, time and effort you will have a well-rounded and well-trained adult golden. They're sociable dogs that adore the company of their family, making them perfect as family pets, especially in families with children, as they love to play and continue to be a puppy at heart throughout their life. The Dalmatian can make for an amazing family dog due to their playful and bouncy personality, but they really need company due to their sociable nature. Socialising your puppy at a young age with lots of other dogs, people, situations and environments will help them to become a confident and well-rounded dog, but some dogs are more people orientated than others. Dalmatians are not dogs that can be left alone for hours. They need to be around their family and so are suited to a household where there's always someone at home with them, or at least for the vast majority of the day. Dalmatians can suffer with separation anxiety, so for them to be left alone for very short periods of time, you'll need to train them to cope without getting stressed. Even these short periods of time can take its toll on your pup and may cause them to develop destructive behaviours like chewing or barking which isn't fair on them at all. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget if you're new here make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Dalmatian videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Dalmatian Show.